Hey everyone, I'm Dollyful Dev, and last week, um, last month, oh wait, actually, last year, I made a game for the Big Mode Game Jam. I know what you're thinking. Mr. Dev, why is this video three months late? First of all, Mr. Dev is my father. Secondly, I've been right proper busy for the last few months working on a bunch of stuff. But this video isn't about all that. This video is about... Let me paint you a picture. Okay, now that I've done that, let me set the scene. It's early December, and one of my friends asks, What's up, dude? You making anything for the Donkey Game Jam? So I'm like, Oh dang, he's doing a game jam? You got a link? And he's like, Yeah, here it is. The problem, though, was that I was busy like a bee working on searching for rest. Wait, 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 wait. You've never heard of SFR? Ah, uh, don't worry about it then. Psych! It's a roguelike deck building strategy game that I released on Steam back in January. Check it out if you like. So where was I? Oh, right, the picture. No, 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 not that one. The Big Mode Jam started in late November and ended on the 16th of December giving me plenty of time to make an amazing game, if I finish as far on time. Unfortunately for me though, I finished as far on the 14th, so I only had two days to work on this jam. I've made a game in two days before, so I wasn't even sweating it. This jam's theme was mode, and as a game jam veteran, I instantly began thinking of ideas so far out of the box that you need a crystal shard and two copper ingots to even see it. Huh? Point being, I was trying to be creative. After staring at the word mode for about 30 minutes, all I could think about was pie. No, not that pie, this pie. And no, it wasn't because I was hungry, it was because I wanted to use a la mode for my theme idea. A la mode in French means, I don't know, something. But in American, it means with ice cream. Here's the skinny. You play as an octopus that escaped its water tank in a fancy restaurant. You were the only dinner ingredient they had on hand, so now they can only serve pies a la mode. Your goal is to blend in and serve customers while plotting your revenge on the chef. Think Diner Dash meets Monaco. Off the top, I knew I wanted to make multiple levels, so the first thing I did was draw a tile set. Then, using Unity's auto tiling mechanic, I was able to quickly make levels. Once that was figured out, I coded the way the customers worked. They would spawn and go to the nearest table to order pie. Once they order, the nearest waiter goes to the pie counter to bring them pie. Initially, the waiter was very dedicated to his work. But after some tweaking, I managed to find the right balance. Anyway, once a customer has pie, you need to get ice cream from this cooler and bring it to them before it's too late. Giving ice cream all day is a great way to pass the time, but there really aren't any stakes. So, naturally, I came up with a hydration mechanic. Since you play as an octopus, it's only natural that you're constantly drying up. To remedy this, you need to drink Ooh. the customer's water. Also, if you fail an order, you'll get nervous and lose hydration at a faster rate. At this point, I wanted to add patrolling chefs. If they see you, they'll give chase, and you'd need to hide before getting caught. With only a few hours left in the jam, though, I was having a hard time implementing this. So, I just made the chef follow you around all the time. At this point, I added a dialogue system to explain mechanics and sprinkle in some story. The last thing to do is add sound, and... What? Oh, the deadline's up, so there's no sound? Well, that's okay. I still have five levels, and I even snuck in an infinite level in case you want to go for a high score. Plus, there's always the... Oh my, this must be an editing mistake. This section was supposed to be for the post-game update. What even is this? Is this a cool new game I'm working on that you can wishlist on Steam right now and even play a jam version in the description? How did this get here? Okay, let me see. Okay, alright, it should be... Oh, here it is. Oh my goodness, this is the Discord plug. I don't believe it. Well, you know, since we're here, feel free to join my Discord and keep up to date with everything. Plus, play my games early. Anyway, let's get back to the... So, a few months have gone by, I released SFR, did another jam, and now I'm ready to finish Stealth All Mode. Before starting with the changes, I got my man Francisco to cook up a few tracks for the update. Check out his links in the description. Okay, so I need to add some stealth, because the current version is really lacking in that department. That means proper chef patrolling and line of sight, hiding spots, faster level traversing through vents, and of course full stealth levels, where you need to steal the chef's secret recipe page by page. Every good stealth game has some kind of door and button system, so I gotta add anti-octopus laser walls. To turn off these laser walls, you're gonna need to throw ice cream at them, so I needed to code a throwing system for the octopus. Well, now that you can throw stuff, why not throw stuff at chefs to get their attention? I can even use this mechanic outside of stealth levels, so you can throw ice cream at customers to serve them from a distance. But now that it's so easy to serve customers, it only makes sense to have a private investigator show up that randomly walks around the level till he catches you and alerts all the chefs. And you know, with all these new mechanics, I should probably add... Oh, maybe I'll save that for later in the video. Well, while those features are cooking, why don't I make a few levels? I'm gonna want a couple levels at the start to explain each mechanic, and once the player's comfortable, I'll start to introduce stealth levels between each restaurant level. To introduce all these mechanics, I revamped the dialogue system and let the waiter be able to speak so he can explain certain mechanics. 
In fact, I think the waiter has something to tell you right now. <laughs> oh my goodness, I had no idea he was going to say that. How sweet. Okay, so I've got all the mechanics, a story, 10 restaurant levels, 5 stealth levels, and a final level. Now I just need to add... Slow down there, slugger. That's a spoiler. Though it is the last thing I need to add, so if you don't want the ending of this game to be spoiled, you should pause this video right now and use the link in the pinned comment to play it. Okay, before we look at the last level, we gotta check out level 15. It's a restaurant level with a twist. In this level, you've just stolen the last piece of the recipe and you want to use it to cook the chef. The waiter agrees to supply you with vegetables as long as you continue serving ice cream to customers. Every four customers served, a veggie will spawn, and you have to throw it into the pot. Once you get four veggies, you can go to the last level and try to cook the chef. To win, you just need to stab the chef and toss him in the pot. Psych! That would be lame! Instead, it turns out the chef built an anti-octopus mech suit and you need to destroy it before cooking him. His mech is armed with a flamethrower, a cleaver launcher, and a missile system. To beat him, you need to wait till the mech drops ice cubes. Then you can pick those up and freeze him. Once he's frozen, you can deal damage with the knife. If you're running low on hydration though, you can just wait for the ice to melt and drink the water. After two hits, the chef will get mad and enter phase two, where now he uses two attacks at once, making him way harder to fight. After you break his mech and cook him, you'll have beat the game. It doesn't end there though. After beating the game, you'll have access to four infinite versions of previous levels where you can go for a high score. The ending idea of cooking the chef actually came from a member in my Discord. If you want to be responsible for major parts of my games, go ahead and join it. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, consider liking and sharing it. Also, if you want a free way to support me, you can wishlist Night Shift Dissonance on Steam. Psych! It's a roguelike deck building strategy game that I released on Steam back in <laughs> February. And as a Game Jam veteran, I instantly began thinking of ideas so far out of the box that the box needed to upgrade to an international flight. This is so dumb, it's a bad joke.